The president of the Fort Wayne Tin Cap says the team will promote getting the coronavirus vaccine at its games. And Tin Cap's employees are also being strongly encouraged to get their shots. Here's Corinne Rose. We want to use baseball as the platform and Parkview Field as the venue to really help spread the vaccine awareness. Tin Caps President Mike Nutter firmly believes in helping any way he can to help achieve herd immunity for the coronavirus. We haven't made it mandatory for our full-time people or our seasonal people, but we are encouraging everybody. Baseball is going to look a little different at Parkview Field this year. Brent Herring and his wife both work for the Tin Caps and have wanted to get their shots. They got word on their way to work Monday morning that they were finally eligible. We couldn't get to my desk fast enough and we started looking at different vaccines and the, and the, the math with opening day being May 4th. It was sort of a, a goal to try to get fully vaccinated by that time. So um, we were able to get in at Parkview uh, next Saturday for our first dose, uh, which would uh, set us up with Pfizer uh, that the weekend before opening day, we should get our second dose. Bill Lane and his wife had COVID-19 in August, and he says they've now had their two doses of the vaccine. Talking about polio or any of those, those other pandemics that uh, that hit the the world over the years and the vaccines work and the science works and I'm just a firm believer of that. Opening day, Parkview Field will be limited to 25% capacity or about 3,000 fans. Nutter says while masks will be required, likely for some time, announcements will also be made over the speakers and on the scoreboard urging people to get vaccinated. There'll be signage up on the new video board. Uh, I'm sure there'll be stuff as people are coming in the gates, but certainly announcements Letting people know the mask requirements, you know, the social distancing requirements at this time tomorrow. We'll be out here with most of the staff zip tying the seats that will not be in use at the beginning for social distancing requirements and things like that. Opening day is May 4th. Corinne Rose, ABC 21. The team president, Mike Nutter, says he's working closely with the Department of Health to ensure everyone's safety.